Good morning, it's Bob again here at EasyChem, continuing on with our check of the photodiode. And uh, we're going to be checking the wires in the connectors here. Um, after taking the covers off, we want to gently pull on each wire individually and make sure that it has a good connection there and nothing is loose, wiggling, or coming free. This red wire is not attached in there very well. So typically what I want to do, if that happens, is remove the other wire. And we want to cut back where the connections were previously made and start with fresh wire. You don't need to cut back very much, about an eighth of an inch. And now we can reinsert these wires into the connector. Be sure to only, if you're going to have to do both connectors, just do one at a time so you can use the other connector as an example as where the wires go. We're going to use a very small screwdriver to press the wire down in. And if you look in there before putting the wire in, you'll see um, a fork, a um, copper colored fork down there that the wire is going to be pressed down in between. And it's going to bite through the insulation and make contact with the copper of the wire. Okay, we got the red one in. After doing that, we can recheck our connections. I think I need to press that red one in a little bit further. And everything should be snug and not able to pull out of there. And that's how we repair a poor connection on your photodiode reference or sample cable. And uh, we'll go over the rest of the inside of the detector uh, in the next video.